Hi, ho there, my lovies. Welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'm Shorty Vaughn. Happy Friday, TGIF. Hot diggity, we made it. And so you know what that means. That means I've been grocery shopping. I prepped the pantry with Grandma Sandy. Yeah, go visit Grandma Sandy or Lynn over at my little rural homestead. Yeah, they're prepping their pantries too. Now, I did do some prep today. Got a few things in stock up. You know, sometimes I watch the news and I just get like this little lump right here and I think I need a couple extra canned goods. Now, I don't go crazy. I don't I don't go in there with big buggies and swoop off everything off the shelf and, you know, run to the register like somebody's going to mug me for my can of green beans. No, just a few things at a time and you will have a lovely stock up of canned goods in the event of an emergency, in the event of a crisis, for good times, for bad times, in the event that your family dinner goes from 20 to 37. Yeah, it happened to me. Thank goodness I had some canned goods. So let's go ahead and let's get down to it. Let's see what I got today. I spent about $79 and change. That gives me 21 more dollars in my weekly budget. And let me tell you, I am glad because tomorrow I'm going over to my favorite shopping center. I'm going to get a haircut. Yeah, it's out of control. It's miserable. I can't take it anymore. I need neat and tidy hair. And so I'm going to go over to my favorite shopping center. I'm going to get a, a cut. I don't even have a coupon. I've been waiting for the coupon to come in the mail. Didn't get one this month. So I'm just going to bite the bullet and pay full price. So you know it's bad if I'm paying full price for anything. Got to get it done. And while I'm there, I'm going to hop on over to my Kroger because I know Friday after 12 o'clock in the afternoon, they've got all kinds of great markdowns in the veg, in the deli section, um, over in the meats. So I'll take you along with me and we'll put our eagle eye on and go scope out some deals. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because that haircut's not going to be a bargain. I mean, it's $20. It's not the end of the world. But I like it a lot better when it's $9.99. You know, that way I leave a really great tip and still have some money left over for, you know, the bargains over at the Kroger. But we're, we're going to do it anyhow. Let's look at my groceries. Andrew was all out of his Soleil's. These fizzy waters, I think they're gross. He loves them. He got three tangerine and one lime. They're already over in the beverage refrigerator getting cooled off. So he has a refreshing drink. He was all out. He was crying real tears. I got some keto buns. Um, these are never on sale. I paid full price for them. They are like five, uh, five dollars. Yeah, they're really pricey. From over at my Aldi, I did get the 45 calorie bread. I love this bread. It toasts really nice. It tastes really good. 45 calories per one slice, and I have become the queen of half a sandwich. You know what's worse than one slice? No slices. That's right. One slice is better than no slices. Absolutely. I got two free items over at my Albertsons today. I got this 32 ounce block of mozzarella cheese because, yeah, they, they didn't know what they were doing the other day when I got delivery. So I um, scoped this out. I wanted mozzarella because, yeah, it melts great, tastes fantastic. And if I'm getting a 32 ounce block of something, even this is good for cheese cubes. Delicious. Piggy got this Little Caesars 3.5 ounce filet mignon flavor um, of dog food. That was a free item for him. He's going to be super thrilled when he gets that. Little Caesars is one of his favorite little yum yums. But you know, 3.5 ounces and this is like $1.50. He doesn't get it very often. That's for sure. Got this delicious looking broccoli that came in over one pound. Yeah, looks like a great little, looks like a great little tree. Look at that. That's going to be fantastic. I think we're having that, not tonight, but tomorrow night for dinner. You'll see, you'll see. <clears throat> I got a three pound, uh, three pack of romaine hearts and they are not very dark on the bottom. So they've got plenty of life left in them. Yes, please, and thank you. Two bell peppers. These were on sale for 79 cents. Thank you very much. 
two Roma tomatoes, two small-ish avocados, and these are pretty firm. So they've got some time. They've got some time before they're fine. I'm not worried about them one bit. I got two of the ultra thin crust um, three meat Sicilian pizzas over at the Albertsons. These were on sale for $2.50 each. And these are just a real quick, easy dinner. If I'm not feeling well, if I've done some things and I can't make it into the kitchen, I know that Melissa and Andrew both can prepare these. They're a great lunch. And at $2.50, yes, please and thank you. Also, I got this sea pack Shrimp and Seafood Company Jumbo Coconut Shrimp Oven Crispy. And it has like an orange marmalade sauce. These are fantastic. These were on sale for $9.99. Regular price was $12.99. And um, this is a 16 ounce package. And we will have coconut shrimp. And I'm thinking like um, a tropical kind of salad. Something like that. I'm working on it. And he'll bring you along. I'll show you. Um, got that. I also got some white corn taco shells for an upcoming recipe. I've got a box, a 14 ounce box of minute rice. Just because, just, just for giggles. Just in case I need some rice PDQ. You never know what's going to happen. Family dinner. Yeah. They also had Andrew's little pies. These little apple and cherry hand pies. Last time he got cherry, and um, this time they had the apple. That is his preferred one. So he got one, two, three, four, and five of these little pies. Yes, please, and thank you. You should have seen his eyes light up. He's like, oh, oh, you got my pies. He got, and he loves them. He loves them cold from the refrigerator. He can have them. We're not fighting over those, I can tell you. These racks of ribs, these were a great buy. And this is a pork spare rib, St. Louis style, previously frozen. Um, I got two of those. Those were on sale for $1.77 a pound, under $2. That's my price point for ribs. And these are going to be fantastic this summer over the grill. Um, if I was going to grill these, what I would probably do is go ahead and um, I would cook the whole rack. I would serve one half of this rack for dinner. I would put the other half of the rack into the freezer um, for a quick, easy dinner. And with that, what would I serve? Maybe a little of broccoli, maybe a little salad, something like that, maybe a baked potato, something quick, something easy, because I'd just throw them in the uh, easy big oven and just give them, give them a, just a little warm up, they'll be fine. The deal of the day, these Quaker oatmeal, instant lower sugar, maple and brown sugar. I got three of these. So these were on sale for $1.27. They're an eight pack. And you're thinking, $1.27, that's a pretty good deal. But then I had a manufacturer's coupon for a dollar off. So I got, a, each one of these was 27 cents. You can't beat that with a stick, yay, hooray. And by coupon, came out of the Peoria Times. It's this little newspaper that they throw. Now, I don't live in Peoria, but my friend does. And she saves those uh, freebie newspapers for me because I think they always have great coupons. So, she gave it to me. It had the coupon in there. I was thrilled. She doesn't coupon. She doesn't think it's worth her time. But she knows I get excited about it, so she's a good friend. I just love her. Hi, Kim. All right. I got four bananas. Yay, hooray. Those are for me. Um, butter was also on sale for $1.77, limit two. So I did get two salted challenge butters. These are one pound packages. Yes, please, and thank you. I have some. I, You know I stocked up on them. Yeah, after the Easter holiday. I stocked up on them after the Easter holiday. I saw these though. I'm like, limit two. That kind of stinks. But I'll take what I can get because it's the 2020s, you know. Also, a great deal today were these Classico spaghetti sauces. I like the Italian sausage one because, honestly, you can see the bits of Italian sausage in here. So if we are having 
like hard times and we, we're out of sausage, God forbid, you know, we're out of sausage, I know that I can pop one of these open and it will give us a little bit of that meat protein, that really decadent feel. This is my absolute favorite Classico. I also, also really enjoy the four cheese, but um, yeah, if I had limit four, so yeah, I got four of the Italian sausage. And I think those are a great thing to stock up on because like I said, if you're having, if you're having a hard week, if you're between paychecks or something like that, you don't have anything in your freezer, this can give you a little bit of that meat protein feel, feel very decadent and yeah, like you're not on hard times. Everybody's got hard times, baby. Just keep on keeping on because they don't last forever, right? Piggy got one can of the chopped ground dinner from Pedigree. He loves that. Just a little bit of yum yum. He has a regular food too, but that's just a little bit of a yum yum. Now, some people might think Pedigree is a bad dog food, a cheap dog food for your dog. But let me tell you that after doing some research and talking to my veterinarian, um, that they think that this is okay. They think that Pedigree is a pretty decent brand simply because there has only been one recall of Pedigree dog food in like the last 10, 15 years. So they think that this is actually a pretty decent dog food and will meet the minimum nutritional requirements for your dog. He eats something else on the regular, but you know, he likes this as a little yum yum. Who am I to say no? Yeah, I'm the yes, I'm the yes dog mom. Sure, you wanna eat pedigree dog food, absolutely. You, 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 you want a little bit of cheese, yum yum. You wanna go for a walk, you wanna go for a ride in the car. I'm up for all of it, baby. He knows it, he's got me wrapped around his little paw, that's for sure, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm gonna squeeze him till he pops, I just love him. Cream of chicken soup. This was actually one of my free items. So I got one can and two cans. These were both worth 100 points. So I spent 200 points to get two free cans of the cream of chicken soup. There wasn't a whole lot of things that I wanted in the one and 200 points section. So yeah, I don't want my points to lay around. I don't want them to die on the vine. So I will choose something that I know I will eventually use. I don't cook with a whole lot of canned soup. Um, I couldn't even tell you the last time I did, but um, these are not bad. They're, they're just fine. And in the event that, you know, I need to whip together a real quick yeast casserole, now I've got some cream of chicken stocked up in the pantry. Got two gallons of milk for my milk drinker because, you know, it would kill him if we ran out. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. It's funny because his friend, his friend Lance's mom said to him, I've got some milk for you. Yeah, I got it by mistake. Anyhow, he brought it home. He was just pleased as punch, but it's shelf stable milk and good until September, 2024. Like hot diggity, we were, yeah, we'll save that for hard times. So I put that, I put that up to save. Got two cans of diced chilies. And I think these are fantastic. I love these. They're not, these are the mild. And just to give any dish a little kick up. Because sometimes, you know, when you're on a budget, you might not be using like, you know, all the spices and everything that you normally would. You can open a can of these and take your dish from, you know, budget to, you know, banquet in a New York minute. Yes, please and thank you. Also, as a little stock up, I got two cans of chili with beans. These are the store brand because let me tell you, I've been shopping around for chili. I used to buy a huge case of it over at the Costco for like $12 and I think there were like 15 cans. Well, the Costco doesn't sell that chili anymore. So then I was looking at chili over at the Walmart and like the lowest cost chili I could find was still like $1.88 a can. Mm. Anyhow, I found these on sale over at my Albertsons for $1.75 a can, which I still think is too high for um, chili in a can. But evidently, it's a hot commodity. Get the price on I saw chili in a can for $5.99 for a name brand one. You know, I'm not going to mention anybody's name, but you know, yeah, the dear one. 
Yeah, it doesn't have deer in it, but it's got the deer on the front. $5.99 for a can of chili. Somebody should be ashamed of themselves. Anyhow, I got all of these items. I spent about $79 today. It's not my lowest day, uh, but you know, every, every week that I come in under $100 for groceries, I'm saying hot diggity, yes please, yippee skippy, woo hoo baby, let's get our bargains on, absolutely. So, click my digital deals, I saved about $103, which I find totally amazing, spent $79, still have $21 left in my budget for the Kroger tomorrow, if I find any goodies, I'll let you know. All right, my lovelies, I gotta get this stuff out of the danger zone. Be good, be careful, look both ways, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Crazy But Not Dangerous. Bye now.